Welcome to my channel. This time, I will be showing you solutions to problem related to shear stress under strength of materials. But before that, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell after you watch this video. This time, we will be solving this problem. The mass of the homogeneous bar AB shown in the figure is 1000 kg. The bar is supported by a pin at A, and a smooth vertical surface at B. Determine the diameter of the smallest pin which can be used at A if its shear stress is limited at 50 MPa. The very first thing that we are going to do is to construct our free body diagram. In your screen, you will see that we have the X and Y component of the pin at A. Also, we already solved for the length X using the formula for the Pythagorean theorem. Next, we have a horizontal component only affecting at a smooth surface in B. And lastly, the weight of bar AB. After making our free body diagram, let us proceed in identifying our given. First, we have the mass of homogeneous bar AB of 1000 kg. Now, since weight can be solved by multiplying the mass and the acceleration due to gravity, we simply multiply the mass of the bar and the constant value for the acceleration due to gravity of 9.81 meters per square second. We have, weight is equal to 1000 times 9.81. The answer for our weight is 9810 Newton. After identifying the given, we can go directly to our solution. From our free body diagram, the first value that we are going to solve is the value for Bx. To solve for its value, we will have a summation of moment at point A. In here, we have, summation of moment at A is equal to zero. We say that force is going to the counterclockwise position is positive. If you want, you can also use the direction clockwise to be positive, it does not make your answer wrong but it will prove if the directions you assume for the x and y components of point A and B is correct. Now, we have, negative weight, multiplied to its distance from A of 2.5 meters, added to Bx, multiplied to its distance from A of 9.8 meters, equal to zero. We already solved a while ago the value for the weight of 9810 Newton, so we simply substitute it to the equation giving us, negative 9810 Newton, multiplied to 2.5 meters, added to Bx, multiplied to 9.8 meters. We transpose values to obtain Bx, we have, Bx is equal to 9810 Newton times 2.5 meters all over 9.8 meters. We simply solve and the answer for Bx, is positive 2502.55 Newton. We have a positive value for Bx. Meaning, the direction that we assumed of going to the left is correct. If you want to watch more tutorials on how to determine the directions of forces, you can simply visit the description box. After solving for Bx, let us proceed in solving the value of the vertical component of A, or the same as AY. To solve for that, we will be using the summation of forces vertical. We have, summation of forces at Y axis, our forces vertical is equal to zero. Forces directed upwards is positive. We have, positive AY, minus negative weight, or W, is equal to zero. We know that the value for our weight which we solved already a while ago is 9810 Newton, we simply substitute and transpose it on the right side, giving as a final value for our A vertical or A Y of positive 9810 Newton. Again, the value is positive so we have a correct assumption of the direction of A Y to be going up. Next, let us solve for the value of A X using summation of forces horizontal are forces with respect to the x-axis. We have, summation of force at x-axis is equal to zero. Forces directed to the right direction is positive. We have, positive ax minus bx is equal to zero. A while ago, we solved already for the value of bx using the summation of force. So we simply substitute and we transpose it on the right side to obtain the value of AX to be 2.502.55 Newton. Next, we determine the value of A, to solve for that, 
we will be getting its resultant. To solve for its resultant, we simply get the square root of the sum of its x and y components. A while ago, we already solved for the value of the x and y components of a, so we simply substitute. We have, the square root if the square of the x component of a, which is 2502.55 newton, added to square of the y component of a which is 9810 newton. We simply solve and we have a final value for a of 10124.17 newton. After identifying the value for pin a, we will use this to solve for its cross-sectional area. To solve for that, we simply use the formula for shear stress. We have, shear stress at A is equal to the quotient of load at A all over the cross-sectional area at A. We have to derive the equation to obtain the formula for cross-sectional area which is now, cross-sectional area is equal to load at A all over the shear stress at A. We know that in getting an area for a shear stress, we use the formula, pi all over 4 multiplied to the square of its diameter. However we have to take note that our pin A is a clevis joint, meaning it is double shear. So we have to multiply it by 2. We are determining this equation because we are going to obtain for the value of the diameter which is the requirement in the problem. We also know that, load at A all over the shear at A has the values, 10124.17 newton all over the shear stress of 50 megapascals which is stated in the problem. Having this values, we have to simply substitute it to the formula. We now have, the equation for area of, 2 multiplied to pi all over 4, multiplied to the square of the diameter is equal to 10124.17 newton all over the shear stress of 50 megapascals. We have to convert megapascal in the unit of newton per square meter so that we can cancel out the newton unit. We simply use the conversion factor. A megapascal is equal to 1 times 10 raised to 6 newton per square meter. We simply solve and we have, 2 multiplied to pi all over 4, multiplied to the square of the diameter is equal to 2.024834 4 times 10 raised to negative 4 square meters. We derive the equation to obtain the value of the diameter, which is now, Diameter is equal to the square root of 2.024834 4 times 10 raised to negative 4 square meters all over 2 times pi all over 4. We simply solve and we have a final answer for our diameter of 0.0114 meter or we convert it with millimeter by simply multiplying 1000, and we have a final answer for our diameter of 11.4 millimeters. That is now the solution to our problem. If you want to watch more videos regarding strength of materials, just visit the description box. Please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell before you exit.